Guys, in today's video, we are looking at a brushed drift car. An awesome looking E30 BMW from MST. This is the RMX 2.5. It's their latest one. Well, I think it's their latest one. They do a brushless version, but I chose the brushed one. And there's a couple of reasons I chose the brushed one. And the first one and the main one is, it's cheaper than the brushless one. So straight away, you want the cheapest deal, don't you? And second, like it says here, it's an entry level and professional drift car. So getting it in the lowest spec you can get, means that you can build on it. So if you like it, you can continue. If you don't like it, then you can move it on. So rather than looking over the box, let's get it out and then we'll have a talk about the features. Always open them upside down. So this is how it comes in the box. You get a little leaflet here with all the information about the um, RMX chassis. You get some stickers and I think stuff about body mounting and stickers there. You can get it with a clear body and you can get a blue. So all your info there for that. More stickers, front bumper, information on the transmitter and ESC and the gyro. And this should give you information if you ever need to take it apart or upgrade it. it shows you all the stuff you need there. I don't know why it's in like a shielding bag for electronics. Let's uh, adjust your gyro. Don't lose it. This one's got hex key, spanner, Allen keys. Ah! Body post adjustment. Not sure what them red things are. And then this is the body. Oh man, look at them. Look at them arches. This is gonna look so cool. So that's how the body comes. No holes in it, because a lot of people like to put um, magnetic mounts on, makes it nice, clean look. Separately, you get the light buckets. They go behind there, which means you can put some LEDs in. Also got that classic BMW grill, some wipers, and some wing mirrors. And a little spoiler, what are they call duck bill spoiler? Duck tail. It's gonna look sweet on there. Comes with a transmitter, there's loads of functions on this. Sun Racing also use these. They're a bit big and bulky, but you can adjust your steering rates, throttle rates and stuff like that. It's got a third channel, so plenty of functions. Not my favorite, because it's a bit big and bulky, but. And then in here is the chassis. Now MST, I'm pretty sure they just throw random wheels on. They're not always as pictured, but this one came with these ones. Something to note as well, you'll see that the wheels have got some slight wear on the tires already. That's because they test every single one of them. So when they come off the production line, someone gets it, sticks the battery in, gives it a drift round a track. They actually show you a video online, I think. I'll try and find it. So there will be some wear on there, but at least you know it's set up out of the box or a generic setup out of the box. Everyone's got their preferences. So just random wheels, but being a BMW, I bought some different wheels to put on it because I started driving in the 90s. So I remember E30s driving around all the time. They didn't come with wheels like that. They came with wheels like that. And that's what we're throwing on it. These are variable offset MSTs. Change it around the back there. So you can have a deeper dish or shallower and obviously offset meaning how far the wheel sits in or how far it sticks out. Anyway, these are gonna look awesome on this BM. They come from the factory with gold spot tires. You can get five or six different compounds depending on what surface you're driving on. I'm gonna be driving this on concrete, like on the road or path. And the reason for that is because every time I do a drift video, I show it on like a carpet track. I've got, well, I haven't at the moment, but I did have my own carpet track set up. And I'd always get questions, can you run it outside because I haven't got enough space indoors to run it. So, so we're gonna do a little bit of outdoor drifting. Look at the steering angle you get as well with these, look. Check that out. Remember this is ready to run. This isn't a kit version. If you really seriously wanna get into drifting, I would recommend the kit version because this comes without any adjustments, whereas the kit version, you can do all your camber and toe adjustments and stuff. I don't know if you can do caster on this, but the kit version is completely adjustable. You can still adjust stuff on this. Motor positions, I think the battery position could be changed, the servo position could be changed. So, so you can still do a lot of stuff to this, ready to run. And you can add all the options on of the adjustability. It's just gonna end up costing you more than probably the kit version in the first place. But being that this is the brushed ready to run, it, it is the most affordable um, MST RTR. Comes with oil shocks. I'm not a pro at setting stuff up, but it feels pretty good on the front quite soft and then the rear's a little bit stiffer. Comes with a new style gyro. Actually, let me go and get my uh, V2. So here's the RMX 2.0. I got the cool GT86. I just remembered <laughs> I've removed the gyro. That's what I wanted to show you. Where did I put it? Yes, I put it in there. Right, there we go. That's the gyro out of the 2.0. So 
It's the LSDX and there's a new MGX now. I'm not sure exactly the changes, but usually when things are updated, it's for the better. So, I mean, I didn't struggle too much with this, but so, I mean, for me, I might not notice a big difference, but I'll have a quick look at the spec. It does give you, it does give you a little list and stuff of the main changes on there. I'll leave a link in the description to where I bought mine and that'll give you the information as well. But looking at them side by side, like that the general chassis setup is the same and i've put the motor at the top on this but you can switch it down there that's how this is done this one's got the esc mounted at the back whereas this is sat at the front there servos servos widthways there where it's lengthways on there suspension looks pretty much the same stuff so between the 2 and the 2.5 i'm sure the 2.5 has improved i'm not a pro at drifting so i don't know all the changes all i know is that's the newer version so i suppose I better get this body sorted. We better get it mounted. We better stick the new wheels on and then we need to give this thing a little go. 2000 years later. Oh my word. How nice does that look? That has got to be one of the best looking drift cars you can buy. Look at them wheels, maximum offset on the rear, or sorry, maximum, maximum dish on the rear. Reduce the offset right down for the front to stop them from rubbing, but Man, it looks so clean. I've seen others with this body have thrown loads of stickers and stuff on it. I just think you need to keep it clean like that. Look at it. It looks so good. I almost don't want to take it outside to see if it would drift. I am really pleased with how this has come out. It sits perfectly as well. It may be a little low for outside, but there you go. That thing is awesome. Right, I'm going to throw a battery in. I'm going to grab a couple of cones. Let's see if, uh, see if I can drift it out on the... Uh, concrete bodies held on these magnets it's not a perfect system it's really hard to get the uh, magnets to stick inside the body i always put a bit of tape down just so it doesn't ruin the paint uh, and it's a bit fiddly to get it set up but high voltage shorty to go in there so give it a little bit more power than a standard battery but so powered on you can see uh, the gyro work and if i just slowly do it a little bit of correction there if i go uh, a bit crazy you can see it's a uh, so you can adjust the gain on this. I'm going to keep it completely stock. Like I've said, they set these up. So we'll keep we'll keep it as is out of the box. Probably going to be a bit of body. Oh, it might be all right, actually. It's not rubbing too bad. My uh, my GT86 rubbed a bit, but I just can't get over how nice that looks. Look at it. Man, oh, let's go. Yes. This thing's so cool. It's a bit windy, so my cones might blow away, but... Yes. Oh, there we go. Ah. It drifts really well out here. So there you go, there's your answer. Can you drift outside? Yeah, of course you can. Oh, my cones are completely messed up now. I did have to raise the body a little bit. It was dragging a bit, but... Oh, this is so cool. Oh, nearly. So really well set up out of the box. I've not done anything to this, apart from swap the wheels around, adjust the suspension, like the height of the body, sorry. Set up perfectly. I'm no pro, but like I said, once you get the hang of this sort of stuff, it's pretty good. <laughs> there you go, guys. That is the brushed RMX 2.5 from MST. And what an absolute beast. And what a load of fun. So that means if you haven't got the space in your house or you haven't got anywhere indoors to run it, you can, run, you can run these outdoors. I was using the gold spot tyres. There might be some better ones for um, that surface, but it's just as easy to drift as it is indoors. Not a massive amount of speed from this being brushed. And it was on a high voltage 2S. I think you can run them 3S. That'll give you a little bit more wheel speed. I did raise the body up a little bit on the rear. Uh, we need to do a few adjustments. There was a bit of body rub, but wow. I'm really impressed with that outside. Didn't do, didn't do like loads of technical stuff, but I can imagine. Find a car park, get some cones and stuff. The wind kept blowing my cones away, but find some cones and bits and pieces and you could have some really good fun with this anyway that's it for this i'm changing these tires over now because i want to run this indoors i just wanted to show you guys that you can run them outdoors so i'm going to prep this for a bit of indoor drifting and then hopefully i'll finally get a chance to go to 
an actual club and um, test some of my drift cars out. I was born in the city, I was raised on its edges. My pop worked this life when it's gone, lots of my love in its center. If I can live here forever, think of me for the better. I love the weather, even though it's fog 24 7. I love the people. This is city, I met all my best friends, and I wanna thank every break. I wanna thank every entrance to every building that I step in. In this city of mine, I'll be most my best moments in life. See, I felt in love for the first time in Golden Gate Park. I saw my first rap show at Great American Home. I used to beg my homies for a ride across the bridge to goof off and spend the whole damn day doing whatever we want. Keep drove us down to Ice Place while we roll up a blunt. And me and Jack would get stony, walk around and get lost. Don't think I'll ever truly pay back all I was lucky to get just by walking through the city. I'm a small part of this. Baby, you're right. 